In 1957, plans to reconstruct the Villette slaughterhouse were estimated at 175 million francs. However, local officials intervened and by 1960 the project cost had risen to 230 million. Construction began in 1961 but faced delays and when it was completed in 1969 the project's cost had soared to 600 million. By 1970, the price tag had ballooned to 1.2 billion, double the previous estimate. In April 1970, the decision was made to halt the project, resulting in the sale of assets at reduced prices. Despite warnings from the Court of Auditors, the mixed economy company, led by Michel de Grailly, increased the project cost by 77.5% over seven years. Approximately 950 million had been spent in a little over a decade. The Commission concluded that another Villette-like scandal could damage the state's reputation. Though several ministers were implicated, none faced consequences. Only three senior officials were referred to a budgetary disciplinary court. Michel de Grailly, who had chaired the Mixed Economy Company since 1965, became the scapegoat and was forced to resign. In 1972, during a Senate session, Secretary of State Jean Tatinger blamed civil servants and omitted to blame corrupted politicians. Senator Pierre Marcilassi made the following speech. You inform us that only the lower ranking officials will take the fall. I wonder if certain political leaders truly have the same understanding of ethics. I emphasize ethics as I do. And you understand that in this regard, there are words I dare not use. We are no longer politicians. We are going to condemn the operatives, and in doing so, you will exonerate the leaders. Dirty work. 